Scramble is a Konami side-scrolling shoot-em-up released into arcades in 1981. It was distributed by Lejak in Japan and Stern in North America. Tomy released the home electronic version the following year, and the company Epoch sold a completely different version of the game in Japan, known as Astro Command. It was this version that was released in the UK by Grandstand, and there was also an LCD game released known as Pocket Scramble. So, here is Grandstand Scramble, and uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been after this for quite some time, and I managed to pick this up at Birmingham Gaming Market. Now, there was two stalls selling these. Um, the first one that I saw um, had a big rip on the, uh, on the artwork there, and uh, the unit itself was a bit scuffed uh, on this uh, silver part, and um, I think they were asking 70 uh, so I declined on that one and uh, went round the corner to uh, another stall and lo and behold they had this one uh, for £10 cheaper and uh, the box is uh, in pretty pretty nice shape uh, considering it's age. There's a few um, like scuffs there and uh, the odd shelf wear and uh, it's all complete so let's just have a quick look at the box. Exciting mini arcade space action game and uh, says there that it takes the uh, Grandstand Universal mains adapter um, that I'm yet to uh, find uh, but I'm not sure if they'd be safe to use um, with them being so old so I might have source uh, a modern uh, counterpart. Uh, so you've got five phases of electronic space action. So you've got all the different uh, phases there. Uh, I think I've only managed to get to uh, phase three uh, because it is quite difficult. This game, uh, it's nothing like the uh, arcade game, so there's no refueling. You don't have to shoot the um, the fuel to keep your ship topped up, um, and there's no uh, moving backgrounds. It's just got waves of enemies coming towards you, and then these uh, these things at the bottom there. I think they're like sort of gun turrets. So let's have a look inside the box. Now I think everything that came with it originally is in the box. Um, so you've got the, uh, the instructions, the Grandstand products leaflet, showing you all the different uh, games available at the time. And of course the, uh, the notorious warranty card that no one ever fills in. So as you can see, it's in pretty good shape for a game that's uh, just over 40 years old. Um, the only flaw I can see is on the back with that scratch there and on the bottom you've got some scuffing but that can be expected from these tabletop games uh, and just like Astro Wars and Firefox you've got this little bezel here and there's like a moon there so it's like a, a moon base um, and that's printed on the uh, the plastic on the inside screen and uh, similar layout to Firefox where you've got a four-way joystick uh, on off switch, difficulty select button, start button, uh, and you've got two buttons for fire, you've got your missile, and you've got your bomb for those uh, missile bases. And as always, you've got a little sticker telling you what batteries to use, uh, and you've got your mains adapter socket there. And uh, just like the other tabletop games I've got, it takes four C size batteries. And if you look closely, there's still like a, a film, like a protective film, uh, around the uh, around the screen. Don't know if the camera's picking that up, but yeah, you can just about see like some bubbles around the lettering. Um, I did think about taking that off, but uh, I think the reason why this is um, in such good condition and there's no uh, none of this silver part missing is because of the uh, protective layer. I think the other one I saw went with all the scuffs and parts of the lettering missing, they'd uh, taken the uh, the film off. So I'm going to keep that on there. So let's get this uh, powered up and uh, have a quick go.
So that was Grandstand Scramble. Now I don't think I'm going to get any more of these tabletop games because they do take up a lot of room in display cabinets, especially if I want to display them with the boxes. So I'm just going to stick with uh, Scramble, Astro Wars, Firefox, F7 and Tron. So like I said, it's quite a difficult game compared to say Astro Wars or Firefox. I mean the original arcade machine is a lot easier. So with this one you've got to time it just right uh, to avoid the uh, the enemies or the the enemy's missiles. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.